Alright. Hello guys. Welcome back to another video. My name is Connor, also known as TGLX Crazy. Um, I'm going to be playing a game, once again, called Frog Detective. Uh, the entire mystery. And uh, I'm going to be doing the second part. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, leave a comment down, the, down below. Um, I might leave some links. Oh, I should. I should. I'm going to leave a link in the description to um, the previous video so you guys can see that, as well as the playlist of all the videos. So once I have them all out, yada yada, you guys can do all of that. So either way, I, um, I hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, like I said, leave a comment down below. Um, leave a like. And yeah, let's get right into it. So let's see how this goes. Let's hop right into it. It looks like there's only four cases right now. Maybe they'll release some stuff in the future. Ring, 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 ring. <coughs> Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. <coughs> <coughs> oh, man. It's the supervisor. Hi, hi, detective. Hey, supervisor. Why'd you hang up on me? Huh? We were talking just a moment ago about a new case. The one at Warlock Woods, right? Yeah, I hung up because I got too excited about solving another mystery. That's understandable. Oh, that's funny, because I, um, last recording I stopped at the beginning of this case. That's funny, so I, like, hung up. Ha <laughs> ha. What can you tell me about this new case? It's a doozy, detective. Hold on to your hat. Supervisor, you know I can't wear hats. Sorry. Anyways, Warlock Woods is a fairly small town up north. They don't get many visitors around there. A couple days ago, a new resident moved in. A shy kind of gal. Doesn't like to be the center of attention. Anyways, she settles into the new house and she... Uh, uh, oh, fuck. She settles into the new house and doesn't go outside to greet anyone. The residents of the town feel like they need to welcome her properly, so they organize a welcoming parade. Great idea. Absolutely. But someone in the town seemed to think otherwise. Last night, the parade decorations were destroyed. What? I know, right? So rude. Nobody has any leads on this case. They don't know who done it. That's where you come in, detective. That's me. I'm the detective. I'm aware. Warlock Woods is a magic town, so it's not the easiest place to get to. You'll need to take an enchanted cart to the end of the line, then travel the rest of the way on foot. Too easy. You'll need to question everybody to get at the bottom of things. Do you think you can solve the mystery? Hmm. Yep. Great. Hop to it. Uh -huh. Oh, I forgot to mention. The new resident of the woods is special. She's invisible. Ah, oh, that was loud. And a wizard. An invisible wizard? Cool. Uh, what's the relevance of her being invisible? Nobody knows what she looks like, so they're really excited to find out. Hence the parade, and the direct decorations, and the celebrations. They want her to be uninvisible? de invisibled Uh, visible? Exactly. Anyway, do you have any everything you need? Um, I have my shoes, my jumper, my pants. I think I'm mi missing something. Your magnifying glass, of course. It's on the table next to your door. Thanks, Supervisor. Good luck, Detective. Alright. Need my, my, my magnifying glass. Trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve no mysteries without it. Well, maybe I could, but that's besides the point. Yes, sir. I'm a clue inspector. Whoa. It's Lobster Cop. He winked at me. What's up, Lobster Cap? He's the best detective around. Oh, it's the famous frog detective. F famous? I'm not famous. Perhaps not, but I'm sure you will be soon. Ah, I hope so. What brings you to my office, detective? Uh, well, I was just leaving my office, actually. I work next door, right here. Oh, I thought that was a cupboard. Nope, that's my office. I've been putting all my cleaning supplies in there. Yes, I've noticed. I'm in there working every time you do it. I even say, this is my office. 
And then you say, sure is, little Kleenex frog. And then I say, I am a crime solving frog, not a Kleenex frog. But usually you're gone already. Excuse my ignorance, detective. I wasn't trying to offend. I'm a very busy boy, head full of mysteries. Sometimes I forget to be polite. If I was polite all the time, I would never have time to solve my crimes. I understand. Maybe that's why I'm not as talented as you, lobster cop. <coughs> Perhaps. But detective, you must keep trying. Never give up. I can give you some tips if you like. Wow, yes please. Pay attention. You should make sure you're looking at things and paying attention to words. Yes, quite right. Everyone's a suspect. Even you. I will suspect, suspect myself much more from now on. Good call. Tip number three, carry a notebook. Uh, I'm not really big on books. They are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Detective, don't be foolish. A book you write yourself cannot be factually inaccurate if you were writing facts. I suppose you're right. I don't have a notebook, though. Well, it's your lucky day. I have a spare notebook on my deck, uh, desk. You can, ah, uh, I have a spare notebook on my desk. You can decorate it and use it all you like. Wow, oh, really? Yep, there's stickers you can use, too. I bought them with my crime-solving money. Cool. Once you get to it, head to my office when you're ready. I get to decorate. This is your office? Ooh, I get to choose. Oh, this is cool. All right, we're going to put a flower right here in the middle. All right, and then we'll put a UFO, right? Like right here. He flying away. Um, we'll put a little worm. Right here. He be warm. I'm a star. Or a, uh, I got the trophy, so I'll put that there. God, I'm stupid. Magnifying glass, because this is the clue book. You know what I'm saying? And then this is me, so I'll put a little froggy down right here. Me next to my trophy. Put a little heart by the flower. Have the sun shining all bright up top. What are these? <laughs> I got a notebook. Look at that. That's sick. I decorated my notebook. Look at that. I can write notes. Interesting. Out we go. Time to solve another mystery. Let's do this, boys. Oh.
Ooh. Over here. Alright. I take a shot. I've already been drinking a bit. Uh. Oh, oh, man, all right, uh, got to record Rocket League after this. Susan, all my stars, it's you, it's me, the famous lobster cop. Uh, I really thought you'd be a lobster. Uh, no, I'm a frog. Why is your name lobster cop? I have to tell you something. I am not a lobster cop. Why not? I don't know how to answer that. Who are you? I'm the detective. Frog detective. I see. Lobster cop not available? Unfortunately not. Well, I think he'll do just fine. Thanks. I'm Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi. I'm the one that contacted the agency, which I think you'll find excludes me for being a suspect. Oh, I didn't know that's how it was work. How it, how it works? You should know these things, detective. I'm sorry. It's okay. I think you should still question me, though, to remove all doubt. Okay, question me all you like. Alright, about the wizard. What you know? Do you know the wizard personally? Nobody knows her personally. Well, not here, at least. Not me? Right. But I had a lot to do with the organization of the parade, and I was the one to start the investigation. You mentioned that. It's worth bringing up again. So, you were fine with her moving into the town? Absolutely. That old house has been empty for years, and it's really nice someone wants to live there. Needs a lot of fixing up, but it'll look nice soon, I think. Plus, it's always exciting to have a new neighbor. Sure is. I put up a sign I made for the wizard, but it got knocked down last night. I'm feeling pretty sad about it, if I'm honest. I know you're here to solve the mystery, but I just need to tell someone how I feel. You can talk to me about it. Thank you. I'm not a professional sign maker yet. But I worked really hard on the sign. Really, I struggled to understand why someone would knock it down. It feels so heartless, and now I'm not sure who to trust. I thought everyone here would be thrilled to have a new neighbor. It's a tricky situation, for sure. Some people are protective of their communities and think new people are going to change things for the worse. But that's almost never the case. New people make places better because they bring new perspectives, especially in small communities. Hopefully it's just a misunderstanding or a mistake. I like to believe people are good. That being said, I'm treating everyone as a suspect, but not me, right? Even you, especially you, especially me? Oh no, sorry, not sure why I said that. But you're not off the hook just yet. Hook? That's it. Detective, could you please find me a hook? I could hang the sign back up with it. Oh, okay, I'll do my best. Question me all you like. Alright, about last night, what do you know? Where were you on the night in question? I was at home knitting a jumper for the wizard. Really? Yeah, I picked all the color myself and everything. Though I'll admit, it's a bit hard to focus on knitting. Why is that? I get so distracted by the wool. It's so fun to play with. I play with it so much that I unravel the whole thing and it goes everywhere. It's a big nuisance. I understand. But I was concentrating on the knitting so much that I didn't notice the destruction of the parade. I'm sorry. Did you notice anything at all? Hmm. Now that I think of it, I saw a big van out near the entrance to Warlock Woods. Didn't drive in or I would have heard it. I didn't worry about it at the time, of course. That's all I remember. Sorry. No worries. C question me all you like. Alright, we got nothing. There's a van in the woods on the entrance. Susan, what you got for me? Motive. Maybe she didn't like her sign destroyed. The parade out of embarrassment. Something to fix her sign. Oh, this is cool. Works really hard on the sign. Van. Okay, that's good. Good to know. Good to know. This is nice. The first one I didn't have this, so it's nice to have a notebook. Makes things a little bit easier. Alright, Ralph. What you got for me, Ralph? Hello, little frog. I'm Ralph! He'd be yelling. <laughs> Why are you yelling? I'm just making sure you can hear me! I can hear you. You don't have to yell. You're very small! <laughs> <laughs> it might be difficult for you to hear. I'm small, but I'm also very close to you. Being small isn't the same as being far away. Are you sure? You can hear me at this volume? Yeah. Weird. I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the mystery. Really? Yeah. But you're so small. I'm of average frog height. Thank you very much. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Questioning me, huh? About the wizard. How do you feel about the wizard moving in? Hmm. It's nothing against the wizard, but I've been living with my friend Carlos for a while now, and our space is big. 
but I would really like my own home. I've been eyeing off that old house for ages. Thought maybe I'd move in one day, but the wizard got there first. I see, it's my fault, I guess. Shouldn't hold it against the wizard. Hmm. This house is twice as big as the other houses. Maybe you could renovate it and turn it into two houses. You could split it down the middle. Or have one house upstairs and one house downstairs, like an apartment. That's a pretty cool idea. Like Carlos and everything, blah, blah, blah. I understand. I don't have any renovation supplies, though. Hmm. I'll see if I can track some down for you. Thanks for your help, Detective. Maybe if you... Maybe if I do a good job, I'll get my own building someday. I'm excited to see it. Questioning me, huh? Okay, about your eye, which you with some random. May I ask why you have an eye patch on? That's Ralph's business. Oh, it'd be really good for me to know why you have an eye patch. Sometimes a boy just wants to wear an eye patch. That shouldn't make me suspicious. You put it on for fashion? Kind of. Detective, I don't want to get into this much, but I watched a movie last night about pirates, and I loved it. And there's another three left. Three whole movies. Can you believe it? Sequels? I've never heard a movie having the sequel before. I know, right? Usually sequels are reverted for video games. Yeah, it's extremely normal to have a video game sequel, especially for games with large audience like the Toad Investigation series. Anyway, that was a plug on a game? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta look this up. Toad Investigation Series. Let's see. Is this made by them also? The Blue Toad Murder Files? No, this is a completely different game. The Blue Toad Investigation Series. Or maybe... Wait. Blue Toad... Video game. Interesting. Okay, well... I don't know what that was. Yeah, anyways, I was watching a pirate movie last night. The, there I was, and for that reason, I've decided to wear an eye patch. Okay, I'll leave it at that. My thanks. Questioning me, huh? Anyways. I'm going to keep her moving. All right, so what do we got about the lion? Ralph. His motive. In true pirate fashion, wanted to cause a ruckus. He needs some building supplies. Notes for him. He loves pirates. Eye patches, cosmetic only. A private boy wants to renovate. Thinks I am too small. I am not. I'm not too small. Yeah, he doesn't seem to have much of a. Who's this? There's a person here too. Okay, well I talked to Susan. I talked to Ralph. This is Mary, right? Yeah, Mary. Ooh, la la la. Hello. Hello, frog. Hello, what's your name? I'm Mary. Nice to meet you. You too. Did you like my song? Hmm, yep. I've been practicing all day and all night. Oh, are you okay? I'm tired. Huh, maybe you should get some sleep. Maybe. You sing very loudly. Yep. I why everyone soundproofed their houses. That sounds expensive. Yeah, it's not really my problem. I think I sound very good, even late at night. How late? I love to sing at 3 a.m. Wow, that's when my energy is the highest. That doesn't sound healthy. Oh, health is my business. Oh, yes, that's true. True. That's okay. Maybe I should listen to some soft sounds before bed. Whisper, whisper. Welcome to my hair salon. Snip, snip. That'll be 100 money. I don't have any hair or any money. That's okay. You can pay me back later. Just joking. Anyways, who are you? I'm the detective. Oh, cool. Can you question me? Do you mind if I... Oh, yeah, sure. Boy, I love questions. About the wizard, what do you know? What do you know about the wizard that moved in? Yeah? Oh, sorry, I didn't actually hear you. I was asking about the wizard. Oh, yeah, there's a wizard. She just moved in. Why? I'm the detective. Right. It's part of the questioning, right? Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Um, so I didn't do any crimes or anything. I have the right to remain silent. Yeah, but do you want to remain silent? Haha, <laughs> literally never. So, like, I heard that Ralph was super weird about the new wizard moving in. Also, I heard that Mandy was in a bad mood the night that the parade was destroyed. And I heard that Naughty, like, attacked the wizard one time. And that's all, actually. Does this make me a snitch? I think so. Rats. Oh, boy. I love questions. <laughs> Found last night. What do you know? What are you doing when the parade is destroyed? Oh, boy. Yeah. Sucks that the parade was destroyed. Oh, were you doing question? Not much. Just singing outside. You were outside when the parade was destroyed? Yeah. Did you see anything? Yeah. What did you see? Detective, have you heard of extortion? Yes, that's great news. Is it? Detective, I would like to extort you. I don't think that's legal. Legal, I am above the law. Why are you extorting me? I'd like five money for a train ticket. 
I don't have any money. Well, you best get some. What do you need a train ticket for? I want to go to Froggy Wood and become a star. Oh, that sounds exciting. I know, right? Sorry about the extortion thing, but I don't really have any other ways to get there. I figure if you get the money from me, I can finally go and live my dreams. La. Will you give me an exchange? Information. What kind of information? A phone number. Who am I calling? Can't tell you that. All I can say is that they're in the vicinity when the parade was destroyed. I don't think you'll be able to solve the case without this phone number. Hence the extortion. Sorry. It's okay. We all get extorted every now and then. Yeah, anyway, come back when you have my money. Oh boy, I love questions. Oh my god. She's blackmailing me. Interesting, interesting. Motive. Perhaps the wizard is better singer than her. Needs five money. It sings really loudly all the time. Everyone soundproofs their houses. Wants to be a big star. Is extorting me. I've never been extorted before. What a thrill! <laughs> all right. I talked to Susan, Ralph, Mary. I forget your name. What's your name? Carlos. Welcome to Carlos's All Things You Need Shop. Are you Carlos? Yes, just like the name of the shop. That's me. Ha, <laughs> how cool is that? Shop has my name in it. So cool. My company also has my name in it. What's your company called? Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. What's your name? Oh, no. I'm the Frog Detective. That's not really a name, though. More of a title. Oh, I suppose you're right. My shop actually has my name in it. Cool. I'm jealous. Thanks. Here in Warlock Woods, we are all our own biggest fans. Being conceited is a social, societal, societal, so, uh, am I saying that word right? Societal, societal, sh societal, societal construct? I don't know. Hence why my shop's so popular. I sell portraits among other things. That's great. My office neighbor Lobster Cop has a picture of himself right above his desk. You know Lobster Cop? Yep. Holy heck. I've been a fan forever. You know, we solved the mystery of the haunted island recently. Uh, it was actually me that solved it. Wait, really? It was all over TV. The dance competition had a lobster in it. Oh, you must be thinking of Larry. You mean small Larry? No, this was a regular sized lobster. Oh no, Larry is a regular so sized lobster. Lobster, not the Larry I know. Oh well, agree to disagree. What? You're telling me there can't be more than one Larry? That's a lobster? Isn't isn't Larry? The lobster also in SpongeBob? Is that not his name? I need to look this up too. Hold on. It is Larry the Lobster, right? From SpongeBob. SpongeBob Lobster name. Yeah, Larry the Lobster. Okay. Um, that's really cool. Thanks. So you're like the second. Okay, I just want to question you. Questions? What would you like to know? The night in question. All right. Where were you last night? Just here in my shop. What about when you closed up? Uh, my shop doesn't close. It's 24 hours. What if someone needs a portrait of themselves at 4 a.m.? You're open all the time? Sure am. Of course. I sleep in and eat and look after myself. My customers simply wake me up if they need to buy anything. Where do you sleep? I sleep standing up. Years of training. I'm the most committed shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. Also, the only shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. Do you ever take breaks? Mm, sometimes. It's when I feel most at home. The extreme shopkeeper lifestyle isn't for everyone, but I take my joy. I took so much joy from my work. Me too. Although I must request that you look after yourself and close the shop if you need a break. Okay, I promise. Anyway, did you see anything last night? Nothing particularly interesting. Uh, the crime, huh? I think I need to question you a bit more. Go for it. What would you like to know? The wizard. What do you know about the new wizard that just moved in? Uh, who? The invisible wizard that moved in literally next door. Wait, really? Someone moved in? Yeah. This place has been empty for ages. Gotta say hi. Well, the parade was meant to be saying hi, hi for... Meant... F fuck! Meant for everyone to be saying hi. A parade? The parade that everyone's been prepping for? Well, wow, how nice. Can't wait. It was destroyed last night. What? This conversation is a roller coaster of information. Literally no idea what's happened. You weren't involved in the decoration at all? Nope. Should I offer to help now? Wait, who's the parade for again? Is it for me? No, it's for the invisible wizard. Right, okay. Uh, oh dear. The party hats. Pardon. Every one time we throw a parade, everyone has party hats to wear. Mine were ruined at the last parade. I've been too busy working in my shop to buy a new one. Oh no. How embarrassing. I can't show up to the parade without one. You think it's too late to order one online? It'll be tight. You're right. Oh, what should I do? Don't stress. I'll track one down before you for the parade starts. Oh my gosh. Thank you, detective. In the meantime, I'll figure out a way to repay you. Unfortunately, I don't have any frog portraits just yet. No problem. 
What would you like to know? That's all. Thanks. All right. Next, Carlos. What you got, Carlos? His motive. Could be worried the wizard doesn't shop locally. Party hat? No, it's, he's a busy boy. Works really hard. Didn't know anything had happened. Seems stressed about the parade. Doesn't have a hat. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> That's terrifying. I'm going to have to do a zoom in on that. Oh, my goodness. That was frightening. Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Be careful where you step, detective. There's mess everywhere. I'm used to mess. Lucky you, I'm not. My shoes are brand new. Can't get them dirty. Why don't you change shoes? Detective, are you joking? Can't wear flats. The proportions would be all wrong. Besides, these shoes are enchanted. I'm one of the few actual witches here in Warlock Woods. Most folks here are just fans of the spooky, which is fine and all, but it means a lot of the cleaning work will be mine to do. Never should have learned the tidying up. It was Mandy. It was Mandy. She's a witch, too. She's definitely mad. With that, there's another person that do spell does spells in the forest. But first, I need to find all my pies. What happened to your pies? Same thing that happened everywhere. Someone thought it'd be funny to knock them over. So annoying. Spent ages making them. Oh, I see. Well, you mind if I ask you some questions? Tell me what you want to know. About your pies. Do you need help finding your pies? Yes. I seriously need help. Straight up can't see anything right now. These glasses are so dark it's unreal. Such a dingus. This town literally cloaked in eternal night. Why did I think sunglasses would be a good idea? They weren't a good idea. However, I don't regret it. They make me look amazing. You think I look amazing? Yup. Thanks. I do too. Worst purchase I've ever made in terms of practicality, but it brings this this look to a new level. Maybe a dingus. I'm a very stylish dingus. What were you talking about? My outfit. No, before that. Pies. Right, you offered to help me pick up my pies. I'm missing quite a few. If you can bring them to me, I'd be happy to clean them all up and give you one as payment. Sounds like fun. Neat. Thanks, detective. Tell me what you want to know. Alright, last night. What you got? Where were you last night? Doing heaps of stuff? Just kidding. I was on a whizbay.net where magic happens. Where were you doing? Bidding on some new shoes? But you just got these ones. Yeah, but the ones I was bidding on would go super well with the blue dress I have. Wow, cool. I know. Didn't win, though. We got the shoes. Not sure. Someone called Dizzy Wizzy 109. Sorry to hear that. How'd you feel when you lost? A bit defeated. Went for a midnight st stroll to cool off, but then and I saw someone in the sun. Uh, it was a pretty foggy night, so I couldn't see much, but they were carrying a large box. Couldn't see what they looked like, but they definitely weren't from here. Felt like they were waiting for someone. Didn't think too much of it. Went home. Did you hear any noise after that? No, my house is soundproof. Ever since Mary's taken up singing, it's kind of a necessity around here. I only saw the mess in the morning. Interesting. Tell me what you want to know. Nothing. We're all good. You told me everything you know. Alright, some notes about her. Mandy. Her motive. Upset about not winning the shoes, perhaps, to get out on the parade. How finding her five pies. Last night was on Wizbay bidding for shoes. Someone knocked her pies over. What a bummer. Schooled me about fashion. Fair enough. Real witch. Kind of spooky. Alright. So here's a pie. I need to find five. Here's one. Here's a pie. I also gotta talk to this person right here. I'm gonna try to look for pies though. Don't see any over here. Oh, it's the Invisible Witch. Okay, I guess I gotta talk to this dude. I've only found two pies. 
Unless there's one around the stage. I guess I haven't talked to Stage Lady either yet. Victor, hello. Wanna hop in? Uh, a little bit, but I'm on a case. Who are you? The detective? Is that your real name? Maybe. Cool, cool. You here to question me and stuff? Cause like, I'm not suspicious. How do you know you're not suspicious? How do you know, Victor? Well, I think I didn't do it. You think? Yeah, nobody knows anything for certain these days. So why are you here swimming? Visiting my friend, Naughty. She's the only person with a hot tub. Plus, I heard there were going to be delicious pies for the parade, so the timing was perfect. Where do you live normally? Over near Pumpkinville. Nice spot. I was thinking of taking a holiday there at some point. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um. So anyway, can I ask you some questions about the case? Yeah, whatever. Questions? About the wizard. What do you know about the wizard? Did you know much about the Invisible Wizard before you came here? Eh, not really. Do the parade was for beyond that, I don't know a lot. Knowing that they never threw a parade for me to come visit. Super cool. Have you been here before? So many times. It's the first time they even threw me a parade. Okay, uh, I take the parade thing back. Just pretend I didn't say that. Sure. Detective, I'm really bored of this conversation. Sorry if that's rude, but I have a new policy of being honest with people. Were you dishonest before? Yeah, I guess. I wouldn't tell people when they were boring me. I don't think that counts as dishonesty. So what am I supposed to do when people are boring? Not sure. Probably don't tell them. Hurt their feelings. I didn't hurt your feelings, though, did I? Well, I have to admit, I was a bit hurt. I have a very exciting job, and I'm a frog. And I solve mysteries. I don't think I'm boring at all. Sure, but I've seen heaps of frogs before. Plus, I've solved my fair share of crimes. Which crimes? This one? You solved the crime already? Yeah, Ralph did it. How do you know? Um... Good point. I haven't decided that, but yeah. But it seems likely that he did it. What was his motive? His what? Motive. The reason for destroying the parade. Oh, I think because he has an eye patch on. I don't think that's a real motive. Doesn't make any sense. Now, who's the rude one? This conversation isn't going anyway. Neither are you, apparently. Not until I solve the mystery. I'm sorry for being rude, detective. I mean it. Just get grumpy when I'm hungry. Why don't you eat some? Get out of the hot tub. No, I must continue this up. You have someone to get you something to eat. Like, who? There's nobody here. I'm here, right? If you find food, I would love to have some. In the meantime, take my money as an apology. I got one money from him. Ugh, I'm gonna hold on to my money. I don't want to dunk goof. I don't want to give him a pie, but I feel like I'm supposed to give him a pie because he's hungry. I hadn't eaten. Could have just been jealous of the parade. Something to eat. Rude individual. Perhaps only rude because of hunger, but maybe just for general. Does not live here only visiting? I want to visit Pumpkinville. That's not important. I got two pies. It doesn't seem like I can... Oh, I found one. <coughs> I got three of them. So I gotta get the five pies. Gotta give them to her, so she gives me a pie back. I give the pie to him, and I don't know. He tells me information. I get five money and give it to her. Her, and she tells me, um, yeah, she tells me stuff. Okay, I gotta find where this other pie is. Try to keep my eye out. Found it. Right here. Yes, sir. I found the pies. I found the pies. Alright. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for my... Oh, you gave me money. Wasn't I supposed to get a pie? Oh, I got money anyways. I got a fresh pie. Alright, cool. Now I can give that to... Dude, for more information. I got two money now, which is nice. Amazing baker. Alright, mister. I got you a pie. Uh, 
I'm not the most special frog in the world, but I like this jumper. It's my favorite. So we very hungry. I have a pie for you. Seriously, score. Enjoy it. Feel much less for now. Yep, you have beautiful eyes. Oh, thank you. It's true. You're making me blush. To give you something. I have a spare party hat. Ah, oh, thank you. I got a party hat from him. That's what I needed. The shopkeeper will probably give me money for the party hat. Alright, what else do we got? Give her her pies. Alright, he needs a party hat. You need money. Building supplies. Uh, thing to hang up her sign. I don't think I've talked to you yet, have I? Naughty. Who are you? The detective? Thought Lobster Cop was coming, huh? What? Did you say something about Lobster Cop? No, but I heard Kindness Frog read my mind. Why are you speaking like that? Like what? Like this. Oh, is this what tele telepathy is? Can you hear this frog? You're saying everything out loud. Oh, this frog is a temper. Anyways, who are you? I'm Naughty. I'm the mayor of Warlock Woods. Uh, no. I would have asked for a lobster cap. I really need to emphasize that I can hear you. Stop listening. <laughs> I can get ice question. I guess so. Tell me what you want to know. Alright, last night. What do you know? Tell me about sight. Nothing. But I can tell you about the wizard. I know basically everything there is to know. That's great. First of all, she's a wizard. Uh-huh. And she's invisible. Great. And she just moved in. And she's a wizard. I think I mentioned that. No, I don't think I did. Right, okay. Sorry. It's fine. Anyway. Tell me what you want to know about the wizard. So how do you feel about the wizard coming? Uh, heck, do I answer this? Well, I'm happy she's here, but that's the house by an empty fridge. I'm not sure what's coming. Nobody told me, you see. Is she the mayor? I think so, anyways. She kind of came at a weird time of night. And I, well, I thought she was a ghost. Yeah, it was a bit messy. I tried to vacuum her up with the vacuum. Put it on the high setting. Just really went to town with the vacuum. To think I freaked her out. Now she won't come out of the house. Please don't put me in jail. Not going to jail, but she probably apologized. Oh, okay, sorry, detective. I mean, the wizard, right? Yeah, it's always happening with the parade to apologize, but she hasn't been out of her house. Also, the parade's ruined. This makes you sound really bad. I swear, I wanted the parade to be lovely. As the mayor of the town, I booked a live band to play a song. As you can see, the stage is gross and ruined now. The band is on their way, and I have no time to fix it. If only I had a rug, but the town's in disarray. I have time to track one down. Thank you for your concern. Let me know. Okay. All right, so. Need a rug, five money, a party hat, which I got. Can I, like, skip through this? A rug. Vacuum the wizard. Cool band. Attack the wizard. She did get attacked. Someone did say she got attacked. Was it Mandy that said that? Very well, might have been. Okay, well, I got a hat for you. Um, what did I need? I got a party hat to give you, mister. Epic. Not a problem? Correct, it was a problem. You solved it just like a true detective. You made a fan out. That's okay. Detective, I insist you take the payment. One money should do it. One money. Found this rug out back. Got a rug. I got the rug. Perfect. Things are going just as I planned. I got three money now. Cool. Got the rug. I'll get a money from the rug. Maybe she'll give me a hanger thing. <laughs> Am I invited to the parade? I hope so. All right. Let's go give this rug to Naughty. Naughty the mayor. Naughty. I got a. I got a rug for you. Tell me what you want to know. I got a rug. Great news. Thanks for tricking down the rug. Looks just like new. Hopefully the man. I hope the fish thing anyways. Why? Go and guess. They're fish? Bingo. Wait, do you mean to tell me you got the most famous band of all time? The Market Buddies? Yep, they're on their way. Can't wait. I'm excited. Better get back to work so I saw the mystery before the parade. Building supplies. Ooh. You giving me money? Just building supplies? Plus one money. I got a money. Sick, dude. I just need one more money. Give the building supplies to homie. So he can split the house into two. Long snoot. 
She does got a long snoot. Look at it. Look at her long snoot. Alright, I got you some building supplies, Ralph. Hi, Ralph. Hello, small frog. Managed to track down some building supplies. Exciting news. Love to use them. Of course. Here you go, mister. Oh. My back. Excellent. Thank you so much. Of course, must pay you for this. No need, really. Shh. Take the money. I got one money. Thanks. Oh, I got a hook. The hook's for the sign. Uh, excuse me. Awesome. Now I give the hook to what's her face? You're back. I am back. I found you a hook on my stars. I can fix my sign. That's okay. There you go. Your sign's all fixed now. I'd like to repay you. Get it for free. Nothing's free in this world. Please feel free to use my house whenever you need. I have a phone, too. Oh, yes. I need the five monies. I need the five monies, which I got. I give the five monies to the blackmail sub suspect Mary. Mary's gonna give me this phone number. Oh boy, I love questions. I got you your money. Hi, Mary. I still think it was Mary. Extortion. Or not Mary. Um, who did it? I don't remember. I don't know. Barney is the post name. He's chill, dude. Call him up. Phone number. Absolutely. Got a phone number. Sick. Now I gotta go use the phone number. Excited for you to go on your adventure. No problem. You don't have to thank me, Mary. Everything's been done. <sighs> Is the suspect Barney? There's a spider. Look at it. It's doing funky stuff. Alright, into the house we go. Oh, nice bed you got here. Should I call the mysterious phone number? Barney. Oh, he's the van that was parked outside. Hey, it's Barney. I'm your speaker. Hey, Barney. Hi. Am I talking to? Um, lobster cop. Wow, well, really? No, I was tricking you. Rats. Who is this, Noodle? I'm the detective. Calling about an incident that happened last night at Warlock Woods. Didn't do it. Do what? Whatever you're calling about. Wasn't me. You sure? What did I do? Last night, someone just started a parade just being set up for the new resident. Told you were in the area. Oh, yeah, I was there. Didn't destroy anything. That's what calling. Just delivering a parcel. Who were you delivering it to? Uh, what was her name? Oh, Lola. I don't think there's anyone in this town called Lola. Must have been someone who lives there. The address on the was on the parcel. Though I can't remember exactly which house it was. Sorry. Do you remember where the parcel was sent from? Oh yeah, delivered a lot of parcels from them. It was the Whiz Bay. Dot nine headquarters. Sounds really familiar. Where have I heard that name before? Mandy. This wasn't for her. Did I say Mandy did it? Mandy definitely did it. Number two, a pair of shoes. Did you get a good look at them? Yeah, it was pretty dark. Not even face. Huh? Weird. Walks were pretty dark. Me neither. It wasn't much more dark than normal either. Pretty stumped on this case, Barney. Do you know if there are any clues left behind us? You can try to deliver some. Oh, I didn't get them. I remember some dropping over at the entrance. Try to call out them, but they stumbled off before I noticed. I just would you say? I'll check it out. Entrance. Wasn't I at the entrance earlier? His motive. Accidentally crashed his van in the decorations. Drove away with that really wasn't cool guy. Didn't see who was delivered to. Lola, responsible driver, heavy on speaker. Should search in the entrance wood. Things dropped. All right, what dropped? Outside the house. Don't see. <gasps> glasses. 
the glasses. Interesting. The invisible wizard. All we got is some glasses to give to the wizard. Maybe it was the wizard who trashed it. The wizard did it after all. The spider's on a trick. Hello? Found these glasses. Inside we go. There's another pie here. Voice here. <laughs> what? She disappeared. Oh, I see her again. I'm gonna look over here. It's just a crab. Can't pick up the pie. I'm gonna go all the way around. <laughs> She's teleporting. She's gotta be right over here, right? Yeah. <laughs> Invisible wizard. Oh, who's there? I'm sorry, didn't mean to startle you. I'm the detective. Oh, thank goodness, you're here to solve the mystery. Okay, well, I don't know where my glasses are, so I'll solve that as soon as possible. Thanks in advance. Found your glasses. These years. I can see again. That was so quick. You should get a promotion. Don't remember calling a detective to solve this mystery, but I must have done. Otherwise, why would you be here, right? <laughs> well, no. I'm actually here to solve a different mystery. Which one? I mean to ruin the surprise, but the town was setting up a parade for you. I'm sorry to tell you the last night someone destroyed it. I'm trying to figure out why. However, I've noticed that your house is littered with the decorations. Where were you last night? I was on Whiz Bay, got some new shoes, picked up express delivery, they arrived last night. Oh, you're Lola. Yeah, back to my alibi. I went to pick up my shoes from the delivery guy. And then I dropped my glasses. And that's all I have to say about that. Sure, yeah, I think someone else must have destroyed the parade. Perhaps one of my enemies. You have enemies? Um... Yeah, who? The guy. Evil guy. Sorry, what? Enemy, evil guy. My enemy. Evil guy? Yeah, you're making this up. No, evil dude is really my enemy. Don't you mean evil guy? Evil guy. Your enemy. Yes. Where can I contact evil guy? Oh, he's not able to be contacted. He's very mysterious and not available right now. Or ever, even. Anyway, he must have destroyed the parade. Case solved. We did it. Well done. Wow. Too bad he's not able to be apprehended. But at least be able to continue. Lola, are you being dishonest? Yes, I'm really sorry. It was me. It was an accident, I swear. What? I didn't know the parade was for me. That's so nice, and I ruined it. When I dropped my classes, couldn't find my way home. was bumping and everything. What happened when you got home? Some chit stuck to me, so I ate those. Then I just hid. Why don't you tell anyone what happened? I'm so embarrassed about it. I only moved in. Already I made a big mistake. Very shy lady, detective. I make myself invisible so nobody can see me. Must have been when nobody saw you last night. Yeah, I suppose. Can you become not invisible, if you insist? What do you look like? You're a frog! I'm slightly disappointed. What? Well, it's just I had a good joke prepared. I'll do it anyways. So I imagine instead of frog, you were revealed to be a lizard. Oh no. Okay, so you've been revealed, okay? Pretend. Okay, it's me, a lizard. Well, you're not an invisible wizard after all. You're an invisible lizard! <laughs> Well, it was a good joke. I thought so. Detective, are you going to tell everyone? Hmm. I'm brand new and it was a mistake. I'm worried that if you tell everyone and I did, they'll be upset. I think they forgive you right away. But what if they don't? I want to make a good first impression. When we go outside, can you please tell them that I was the evil guy? But that's Fib. White lie, perhaps. But who is it harming, really? Evil guy. Evil guy isn't real. This is a moral dilemma, Lola. Just like in my favorite episode of Peri Periot. It's your choice, Detective. It's Faith the Music. Shy lady, she's a frog. Just moved in, made a big mistake. Lied about having an illness. Wants me to tell the time town it was evil guy. You're the suspect. 
We did it. Oh, my thumbs are cracking. My thumbs. Yeah, both my thumbs and my thingies. Hi, my name is Lola. I'm a frog, just like me. So we're so glad you can make it, Lola. Sorry there's been so much commotion. Somebody destroyed it last night. We're sorry someone destroyed it, Lola. The text is trying to figure it out. I hope it wasn't me. <laughs> I'd be surprised if it was any of us. I wasn't looking at you, Ralph. Ralph didn't do it, Victor. How many times do we have to tell you? Just don't trust that guy. I'm not rude anymore, Ralph. I had food. I don't think that's how it works. Well, I guess we'll find out in a moment. <sighs> do I say evil guy did it? Lola. Lola did it. Well, I solved the mystery. It was Lola. What? It was an accident. Lola dropped her glasses last night while picking up some shoes she bought on Wizbay. Lola can't see without her glasses. She, she had a lot of trouble getting home. She bumped into just about everything. I'm so sorry. I feel awful. Realize what had happened when I lost lots of chips. I ate them. They were delicious. The braiders for me all along, and I didn't realize. Lola was very scared of your a your reaction, so she hid in her house out of shame. Oh, it's okay. You should have told us. Destroy stuff all the time. Mary destroys stuff. Yeah, I really do. Plus, nobody tried to vacuum you up, so I feel like the parade being destroyed is kind of fine. Thought she was a ghost. That's what they all say. We're all really excited. Thought Ralph did it. Victor, <laughs> apologize to Ralph. I'm sorry I accused you. I'm also sorry. I really didn't. Very nervous lady. Plus, what a terrible first impression. Not as bad as my first. What'd you do? Ran over Mary by accident. Yeah, that was really painful. Should we get this party started? What do you think? Yes, please. Uh, hey, the crabs. It's the market. Market guys, whatever they're called. Oh. Do, 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 Banging. I'm honestly really enjoying, really enjoying this game. It's a fun thing to play, like. It's kind of dumb, you know, it's like, it's obviously for, like, children, but it's cool. <sighs> what a game, guys. What a game. Well, um, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I know I said this at the beginning of the video, but I'm gonna say it again. Um, yeah, I had really fun. I I had a really fun. I had a lot of fun playing this game. Uh, I will be playing Case 3 here soon. Hopefully I'll get the recording out in like the next couple of days. The video will probably be out in like a week or two. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, stay tuned for more. That's all I can really say. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.